Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd show you how I edit my time lapses using LR time lapse and Lightroom. Um, I took this scene yesterday after a storm, a rainstorm that had passed um, on top of Camelback Park in Boise, Idaho. Um, but I'm going to jump straight into it. Um, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is copy all of your files and save it in a folder. Um, and you're going to look for that folder and select it. It's going to take a little while uh, to load. And you'll see there's a blue line over here that shows that the file or the time lapse is fully loaded. Once you click play, you can kind of look through and see what your footage looks like before you edit it. Um, and I think I took, you can see here, 351 photos and it's a raw file. Obviously if it's JPEG, you're not going to be able to edit in the visual workflow. It'll only be in the basic workflow. So you want to make sure that you shoot your time lapses in the raw format. So I am going to go up to the first keyframe wizard and I'm going to select some keyframes. This is going to help you edit your photos in Lightroom. So because this is a pretty straight line, I'm not going to need so many keyframes. I think three is good um, for this time lapse. I'm just going to click save. And then you're going to make sure that your Lightroom is open and you, uh, and you are in library mode. If you're in develop mode, it's not going to work. So make sure you're in library. Then you're going to drag the file where it says drag to Lightroom. You're going to hold it drag it straight into Lightroom and drop it and it will pop up here. It should make a subfolder in the folder that you created called .lrt and um, make sure that you add all of the files. Do not copy it or move the files. It's not going to work. Just make sure that you select the add options and then you're going to click import. It's going to take a few minutes to import, but while it's importing, you can go up to the filter option, the top, and you're going to select the LR time lapse keyframes. This will select the keyframes that you created in LR time lapse for you to edit. In this case, it's only three images. Then you're going to go to develop and edit your photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, crop it or just straighten the image. That looks good. And I'm going to bring down the highlights, definitely bring up the shadows. I like to bring up the whites a little bit because it gives it a nice pop. Drop the blacks just a little bit. And then I'm going to up the vibrance and the saturation. Make sure you bring the whites down. Um, You don't have to play with the tone curve if you don't want to, but I like to just do a, a few final tweaks with the blacks, um, the midtones, and the highlights. For now, I'm going to skip the split toning and just go straight down 
here this is where i like to add some noise reduction and color reduction it just smooths the photo out and removes any kind of noise that your image might have and then i'm just going to add the lens correction um, so i'm just going to go back up here drop and that looks good and if we do a before and after you know it's not it's just a subtle edit um now that we have the edited file you're going to click control or command if you have a mac um select the next image and then you're going to go up to scripts and lr time lapse sync keyframes you don't want to select the sync button on the side here because it's not going to work so make sure you go up to scripts and then you select the sync keyframes up there then i'm just going to check the next image and just adjust it and this time i'm going to do a reference put the first image and just compare the two i think that looks okay i might just up the exposure by 0.20 um, and then i just brought up the shadows and i'm pretty happy with that so i'm going to do the same thing with the last photo And reference it and that looks pretty good um, yeah I'm happy with that so what you're gonna do is go back into library mode select all three and then uh, right click go to met metadata and save metadata to file this is gonna save all of the information that you just edited on the files so when you sync it into LR time lapse, it'll bring it over. Okay, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click reload. This is going to, I guess, update all the information. Uh, then you're gonna click auto transition, give it a minute to do its thing, and then visual preview. The visual preview is going to give you a visual edited version of the time lapse that you had edited in Lightroom. So this is going to take a little time depending on how fast your computer is. And you'll see there's like a pink line over here that it's going to kind of go through and you'll see the files processing all the way down here. So I'm going to speed up this video and um, show you what the end result looks like. Okay guys, now that we have the full sequence edited, we played back it looks pretty good there's a little bit of flicker over here so the last step we're going to do is the visual deflicker this will help with all the flicker that you may have you can do multiple passes um, if you have really bad flicker uh, it doesn't completely take it away but for the most part for something like this it would do a really good job so i'm just going to keep it on the default to max pass multi pass the flicker and then over here is where you can smooth it out to how much you want to smooth it so i'm just going to bring it to about there click apply and then it will basically read all the files again and hopefully smooth it out to this green line so again i'm going to skip past all of this and show you what it looks like at the end you'll see at the bottom here as you start to edit your files um, each little box will kind of light up to show you that you've already done those 
thing. So the next step will be the B flicker, which will be this, and it'll, it'll look like this one over here. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so the last, the last step is done. As you can see, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to click save again. And then you want to go down back into our, I mean Lightroom. And over here you're going to turn off the filter so that all the images show. So from here you're going to say Control Command A, right click. And then you're going to go to metadata and read metadata to files. So this is going to read all the information from LR time maps back into Lightroom. It does take a little bit of time as well to read the information. So please be patient. And then I have one last step that I'm going to do before I export this file. Um, if you go, if I go back into LR time lapse and I play the footage back, you can see there was something flying in the frame. I think it was my drone. So I am just going to spot remove that. I usually do a little bit of spot removing when there's a few birds flying around just to clean it up. If there's a lot of birds, it can be quite a process and I wouldn't recommend it. But if you determine like me to get birds or planes or drones out of your frame, then this is the step that you're going to want to follow. I like to just kind of play it back and then find the frame here. So I guess it starts over here and you can read the image number from here of the file. In this case, it's 05228. Or oh, it's number 13. <clears throat> You want to make sure that it finishes reading the files before you do anything because it might not read properly. So just give it a minute. Um, in this case, it's not number 13. For some reason, it's always one ahead. So it's number 14. You can see it over there. And then I'm just going to go to develop and I'll wait until this is done. Okay, now that it's done, I'm going to use my spot removal tool and I am going to just spot remove it. I'm going to use the frame next to it. Make sure it's in healing mode because you don't want to clone it. It's not going to look natural. So I'm just going to use the healing tool and that looks good. And I'm just going to go frame by frame and remove. The, the drone. I think that was it. I'm just going to go back here, kind of go through quickly. What you can also do is just click your down arrow and it will speed play through the whole thing. Mm, it doesn't seem like there's any birds or anything either really, so I'm happy with that. Great. Actually, and that looks good. So now that you're done with that, you can export your images. I'm just going to go back to library mode and then a control A or command A. And then you're going to go up to File, Export, find a folder that you want to save it to. Um, in this case, I like to use the folder that I created and then just call it edited. This was part two. Select the folder and I'm going to drop the quality down to 90. The reason why I do this is because you have so many 
files that are exporting that it doesn't need to be such a high it doesn't have to be 100% because then your file size is just going to be really big. So 90% is a decent quality. And then I'm just going to keep everything else the same. JPEG, RSGB, color, space. Um, yeah, and that's it. You click export and that is your edited time lapse um the next step will be to put it into premiere pro after effects whichever program you use and create the sequence and then export that file but i will create a different video um if you enjoyed this please give it a like and subscribe uh let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you have questions about or if you have a better method that you want to share um yeah i hope you liked it and stay tuned for the next tutorial <laughs>